Howdy folks, it's Land County Survivor Man. In this video we're going to learn how to take a groundhog. We're going to take this old groundhog right here. We're going to turn his hide into a bag. Groundhogs make good bags. And we're going to make the rest of this groundhog into jerky. Now I went groundhog hunting today with a buddy of mine by the name of Ryan Leftwich. And he shot this groundhog about 200 yards with his big gun. So Ryan Leftwich killed this big old groundhog. So I'll let you see that in the video. But that's what we're going to do on this video. We're going to take and make us a groundhog skin bag. Oh, just a... Just a tickle. What do you got? You still see him? Toast, right? Is he? He smoked. <laughs> bad. <laughs> he had a bad day. Okay, guys. This is the groundhog. It's been case skinned. That means that the groundhog's hide, when skinned, has not been split from its chin all the way down here to its bottom side. You've already got yourself a little bag there already. Now what we're going to do is the traditional method. We're just going to take, uh, I'm just going to take some uh, lime and I'm going to put this uh, groundhog skin in it. I'm going to dehair it. You can see the flesh is still on it right there. That's the flesh. I'm not going to do that fleshing just like I do my deer skins. I'm not going to do the fleshing until later. And uh, I'll show you later on after I get it dehaired in that uh, dehairing solution what the skin looks like. Then we'll go through a little tanning process to turn this old groundhog right here into a groundhog bag. Yeah, hello there guys. Got this old groundhog skin. Uh, the bullet done so much damage to the front end of the groundhog that uh, I sort of wasted the front end of it. That uh, 220 Swift kind of took him apart on the inside but as you can see we got a still a good chunk of meat there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this old groundhog right here and I'm gonna cook him right over this campfire real slow just like that and after a while And after a while, we'll have us some good old groundhog there to eat. Now, groundhog's just some real tasty meat. Groundhog just, they're vegetarians. All they eat is grass and weeds and berries and stuff like that and fruit. So, for all you folks out there that's never eat a groundhog, I grew up eating groundhog. That was part of supper every once in a while on our table. So, uh, I like my groundhog every once in a while. I really appreciate my old buddy Ryan shooting me a big one. I'll have to admit, he shot it at a long range. Very nice shot. So I'm going to let this thing cook a while. I'm going to go over here and we'll get the, the groundhog skin out and put it in some lime water and get that thing ready to dehair. All right, folks, here we go. I got us a bucket of water here, put the groundhog skin in. All I've done is put some, a couple handfuls of lime in that water. Big old handfuls, about, about the size of my hand. Put them in your water. Take your old groundhog skin. Put him down in there. Make sure you get it mixed up real good. It's like a white solution there, you see. About three days. The hair will come off of that skin and we'll make us a piece of leather out of it because groundhog skin is really good skin. I used to make uh, boot strings and little pouches and stuff like that out of it, but we're going to see if we can make us a bag out of this one. I was going to make us some jerky out of this old groundhog here, but I 
think we just gonna eat this one just the way he is. There really ain't no uh, big science to cooking a cooking a groundhog. Just keep him up out of the fire pretty good there. Don't let him get too close to the fire because you'll just burn it up. But cooking over a campfire, especially cooking meat, I found that. If you twist that groundhog just like a weenie on a stick while you're doing it, that you can get a pretty even cook out of that thing. You can see the juices coming out of that groundhog right there. He's really, really cooking. You see, I left the feet on the thing because that don't matter. We ain't gonna eat the feet. But just in a few minutes. Here's that old groundhog that says one there. I'll let you, let you take a look at it. Now, buddy, you talking about a good meal. That old groundhog there will be a good meal. So we'll set him right there and let him cook a while. Then we'll get us some of it. All righty then, folks. Let's take us a little bit of this groundhog here. We've been cooking this thing now for about, oh, about 30 minutes over the fire. Okay, not bad. Just about rare, just about right. Just like it is out in the woods. Ain't got no salt, it's got just a little bit of, I guess it's own little bit of maybe sodium in it. But uh, in a survival situation, there's what your food looks like when you cook it over a fire. The longer you cook it, tougher it gets. So you're going to do it just like steak. If you leave it on there too long, it'll be jerky. You can turn this groundhog into jerky. But uh, that's pretty good groundhog right there. That's an old groundhog. She wasn't too fat. That little bit of, little bit of grass in her. But anyway, guys, tip on how to cook your groundhog or whatever else you can kill out in the woods in a survival situation. I hear the neighbor's lawnmower there in the background maybe he's drowning me out. But anyway guys that's another tip from your man County Survivor man. Have fun. Have a nice day.